Hello. 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 Hi. Good evening, Vivu. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. How was your day in your online class? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay? You... Do you have a lot of homework? Hmm, I don't have a lot of homework. Not much? Okay. So, how is the weather today? It's cloudy today. It's cloudy. And... What's for dinner? What did you eat for dinner? Mm, I eat meat and rice. Meat and rice. Okay. So last week we we um I um I gave you a homework, right? <laughs> hmm? Did you do it? Like um I ask you to um right this one how to write a report yes i do okay you do okay so can i can um can can you read your work hmm. yeah Or you want to write? You want to what? Yes, I want to write. Okay. I want to write. Okay, so I will give you time. You want to write on the screen or or here? Wait. On the screen. Okay, yeah. good. So I will give you the whiteboard so that you can write. Go. Oh. Okay. Take your time. I don't know how Hello. Okay, wait for a while. Um wait, let me let me okay here. I want you to write here again. Here's the tip. If you can see here, how to write a report. So first is decide what your topic will be. Just like this one, brainstorm, just a small report, brainstorm supporting details. So you need to write your topic sentence and supporting sentence only. And here's the, here's the tip or the process. Okay. Oh, I know. Okay. okay.
Can you please read this one? Okay. You're done? No. Not yet. Okay, so can you please read this one? My yeah. name is Hui I live in Hanoi, Vietnam. Hanoi is north, so the weather is nice. In summer, the sun will rise at 5.30 a.m. and it will set at 7 p.m. In summer, the high temperature is 38 degrees. And 38 degrees C and 38 degrees C Celsius. and low temperature is, is 30, uh, 32 degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. People will play sports, swim, do exercise, go outside and go vacation. Uh -huh. In winter, the weather is cold. The sun will rise at 6 15 a.m. and it will set at 5 40 p.m. Uh -huh. The high temperature is low temperature is 15 degrees C. People uh -huh. in home watch TV. The children and learn what it has it don't have snow in winter at Vietnam. I hope in Hanoi have snow. Okay, so there you go. So thank you for that, Vivu. Okay, so thank you for making your report and for following the um the steps on how to write. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is anyway, this is a wrap up or a review. So let's just skip this part. Now let's go to this question again. We already learned this one in our previous lesson. So again, I'm going to ask you, how do we measure time? If you can still remember. Look, um, if you can see here in the picture, um, it shows like the time is different. Okay. So here, the big question here is, how do we measure time? Okay. Yeah, how do we measure time? Mm. We measure 
That's correct. What else? How about? Uh, yeah, you're correct. It's about like the sun. Okay, so good job. That's correct. Now let's um watch the video. This is to answer the question: How do we measure time? Hello there. The big question today is, how do we measure time? Most of us use clocks to tell the time. They help us plan our day. We divide the day into 24 hours. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. Calendars help us plan our time too. They help us plan our weeks, our months, even our entire year. We can also tell the time by watching the sun. The day starts when the sun comes up. It reaches its highest point at midday. And the day ends when the sun comes down. It looks like the sun moves around the earth, but it doesn't. In fact, the Earth moves around the Sun. As it does so, the Earth turns on an imaginary line called an axis. It will take a year for the Earth to move around the Sun, and it will take a day for the Earth to spin on its axis. So, we measure time by the spinning of the Earth. This means that when half the world is in light, the other half will be in darkness. Yeah. So it can be day in one place and night in another. That's why there are different time zones. This is Shanghai in okay. China. And this is Cape Town in South Africa. It's eight o'clock in the morning in Shanghai. It's light and everybody is getting ready. They're all going to go to school or work. Cape Town is six hours behind Shanghai. It's two o'clock in the morning and most people are in bed. Now, it's six o'clock in the evening. It's light and people are leaving work and relaxing. In Shanghai, it's midnight. It's dark and most people are sleeping. Mm -hmm. There are 24 different time zones in the world. There's a difference of an hour between each one. So, when it's 10 a.m. where you are, it'll be 10 p.m. on the opposite side of the world. Yeah. What time is it where <laughs> you are? All right, so there you go. So you just see um, the different... Um, um, things that to mm -hmm. how we measure time again first is we can measure time of course our clock okay that's the very uh, first thing that we can tell what time is it also calendar and the sun as well okay and okay. you see there that um, if it's night time in your country it's morning in the opposite side of the world. Okay, just like now, what time is it today? I mean, what time uh, is it now in Vietnam? 8.30. Oh, uh -huh. it's 8.22. 8.22. 8.23. 8.23. Okay. Um, let's try to look. Uh huh. Oh, what's the opposite side? Mm. 
Okay, let us see. What's the opposite country? <laughs> I'm not really. Wait. Um, it's the opposite. Okay, so twelve hour difference from me. So I think. Wait. So if oh it's in United States okay so if it's eight twenty five is it eight twenty five now yeah if it's eight twenty five now in your country then in the opposite side just example in the in United States of America it's eight twenty five in the morning. Yeah. Okay, so that's um, the difference between time. Okay, so if okay. you can see in the video, um, will the sun turn or the earth will move around the sun? The earth will okay. move around the sun. That's correct. So the earth will move around the sun. That's the reason why, if you can see, there's night and day. Okay. That's um, the reason why there's night and day. It's because of the movement of the earth across the sun. Okay? Okay. Okay. So do you now understand on um, how to measure time? Yes, I know how to understand how to measure time. Okay. So there you go. Great job. All right, so now let us continue. I think this is the end of your um, unit, um, unit seven and eight. So now we will continue with your unit nine and ten. Okay, so in this unit, you will watch a video about energy. Oh, since it's about science, it's about energy. And you love science, right? Yes, I love science. All right. So since you love that, you will watch a video about energy. You will learn about resources of energy. Where does the energy comes from? And of course, you will read about wind energy and an energy hero then you will write a speech about energy use and so basically in this unit we will talk about energy all right so before we go through with this one let me ask you a question where does energy come from oh very nice question where does energy comes from? Hmm. Do you have any idea? I think energy is come from the sun. Comes from the sun. Okay, yes, that's also that's correct. Okay, aside from sun, what else? It comes from wait. There's oh, a lot. It's come from the machine. Come machine? From the machine? Yes. The machine. Okay, so you think it comes from a machine. And then what else? Aside, how about wind? Do you think wind can give yeah, us energy? It come from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, before we answer that question, I want you to look at the picture here. What? Things in the picture are sources of energy. Okay. Huh? Yeah. So when you say sources of energy, it's where the energy comes from. Do you know this? What's this? What are these? Mm -hmm. It's a windmill. Yeah, it's a windmill. And do you know what 
a windmill is used for? Do you have any idea? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so it will basically get energy from the wind. Okay, now and um, what things use energy? What things uh -huh. use energy? Yeah. What machine is energy? Machine, okay, yeah, what else? Aside from machine, what else? What other things? use or need energy um, the things use energy it's um, well it's um, both mm. <laughs> all right so don't worry now here think and what items in your classroom use energy And then I don't know. Do you have any oh, idea? It's, uh, oh, oh, oh. it's a computer for me. Um, yeah. My class is computer to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's that's. Not, uh, unlike that, no, we will use computer to teach. Okay. Okay, that's right. What else? Hmm. I cannot think. <laughs> so anyway, don't worry. We will talk more about energy in your next class on Thursday. Oh, my gosh, there's a spider. Wait, <laughs> I'm afraid of spider. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, <laughs> it's a big spider. Okay, so oh. anyway, we will talk more about energy in your next class on Thursday. And we will learn what are the things that needs energy and where does energy come from. Okay? So do you have question, okay. Vivo, before we end our class tonight? Do you have question? Hmm? I don't have any. All right. So since you don't have question, teacher will have to go now. And I'll see you again on Thursday for our next class. Okay? Thank you, Vivu. And I'll see you again okay, on bye. Thursday. Have a good night. Bye-bye.